This is a Squiz Kids podcast, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. Squiz Kids Book Club with me, Catch the Reading Bug, and my crew of reviewers. parents, teachers and librarians, but sometimes kids just want to hear from other kids about what's fun to read. The Squiz Kids Book Club podcast only has book reviews written and recorded by kids. If my crew loves a book, they'll tell you all about it. If they don't, they'll tell you why. I'm Catch the Reading Bug. And I'm Christy Kijarina. Welcome back to Squiz Kids Book Club. A big thank you to all the kids who signed up to be part of Catch's crew. It's such a pleasure to meet all of these amazing book reviewers. Our reviewers this month were sent a lovely new book from our friends at Walker Books. They've read them and sent us their reviews. Soon we're going to find out what they thought. You just need to find the right book to fall in love with reading and my crew of reviewers are here to help. Catch, did you know that once upon a time... Only a few hundred years ago, reading was actually thought to be dangerous for your health. Wow. True. People thought that you might catch a disease from the grubby pages of books and that by reading for fun, your brain might decay because you weren't using it for serious things. Some people even thought that readers might not be able to tell the difference between fiction and reality. Oh my goodness. Luckily, today we know that reading is great for your brain. It can help you relax and think more creatively. And guess what? I found this fact out by, you guessed it, reading. So it can't be all bad. So what are we waiting for? Let's hear about some books and get reading. Each month we feature two books, one that's aimed at kids in year three and up called a junior book and one for kids in year five and above called Middle Grades. Who from my crew is with us this month? This month's Middle Grade book. Hi, my name is Georgia. I'm 11 years old and I live in Adelaide, SA. Hello, my name is Clarissa. I'm 11 years old and I live in Victoria. Hi, my name is Ava. I'm 10 years old and live in New South Wales. Hi, my name is Bronte. I am 10 years old and I am from the Gold Coast. Do you like books that are adventurous with a little bit of mystery? Ever feel like you don't fit in or you're expected to be someone that you're not? Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if dinosaurs could talk? Or maybe you just want a great book about friendship, endurance and betrayal. Well, you'll be pleased to know I have the perfect book for you. And it's called, drumroll please... (laughs) The Deadlands Hunted! Deadlands Hunted is by Sky Melky Wagner and is about several different dinosaur kingdoms going into war. I know the name The Deadlands Hunted doesn't sound very feel good, but trust me, it is. In the front of the book, there was a map of Cretacea where the story takes place. I would suggest looking at the back of the book before you start reading to find out what the main dinosaurs look like. It doesn't matter if you're not a dinosaur fan. I'm not either. This book is a story about family, friendship, betrayal, and the dark secrets behind war. Ellery, the disgraced son of a prince, joins the other exiles to go on a wild adventure. Will they become friends and stop the war, or will they work against each other? It's okay if you're a little bit nervous with chapter books, but there's no need to be worried. This book is an easy read and a really, really amazing story. I rate this book a 4.5 T-Rexes out of 5. I found the book challenging and I learnt some new words. I would like to read more of this author's book. I would rate this book 5 stars and would recommend this book to anyone who likes to go on adventures. What I love about this book is that it tells me a strong message. No matter who you are, no matter what you are. You can be friends with anyone. You should totally read this book. What a great review! 
action, adventure, dinosaurs. Deadlands Hunted by Sky Milky Wagner seems to have it all. Next up, we're going to hear from our junior reviewers. They're going to tell us about Friendly Bee and Friends by Sean E. Avery. I'll let them go ahead and introduce themselves. I'm so happy to have you! This month's junior book. Hi, my name is George. I'm 10 years old and I live in Brisbane, Queensland. Hi, my name is James. I'm 8 years old and I live in Sydney. My name is Caitlin. I'm eight years old and I come from Kingaway, Kulabanya. Do you like books that are funny? Have you ever wanted to know what friendly bees think? Then Friendly Bee and Friends by Shawnee Avery might be a great book for you. Friendly Bee and Friends tells the story of a friendly bee bee who tries to make lots of friends. The most interesting thing about this book is the names of the characters, which include Angry Wasp, Enormous Hairy Spider, Slightly Peckish Caterpillar, and many more. Friendly Bee tries to make friends with Grumpy Boss and also tries to make a boring caterpillar feel special. I really enjoy the amazing illustrations. The pictures really help explain the story. The style of the book is a graphic novel. This book didn't appeal to me because it was far more sentimental than I would have preferred and I think that somebody younger than me would have enjoyed it much more. I think this would be a great book, though, for somebody still learning how to read. I really liked this book because it has lots of adventures, and I like adventures. Read it for yourself and see. Sounds great. Thank you so much for sharing. I might never look at bees the same way again. Now, Catch, your crew is growing all the time and they are super interesting humans who have lots of brilliant book suggestions. Today, we're going to hear from Eden about where and what she loves to read and from Seamus, who will tell us about his all-time favourite book. Listen up, crew. A special review from Catch's crew. Hi, my name is Eden. I'm nine years old and I live in Sydney. My favourite place to read is in bed early in the morning because it's cosy and warm and really quiet so I can focus on my book. If I could only take two books to a desert island, I would choose The Big Book of Tacky and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Let me tell you why. Both books are magical and full of adventures and you never get bored of reading them, no matter how many times. If I was going to write a book, I would make it a crime mystery about the royal crown being stolen because kids would love the thrill and would keep reading till the very end to find out who did it. I agree! It's so great to slowly meet all my crew! Hi! My name is Shemus. I'm 12 years old and I live in Sydney. You can't blend in when you were born to stand out. Wonder by RJ Palacio is about a 10 year old boy struggling with school because of his facial abnormality. The genre is young adult, but it is okay to read for older children as the children are the main characters. It is set in North River Heights in Manhattan, New York. Due to what he looks like, he has to push through the challenges of bullies, school and life. What makes this book really great is that it's visual. You can imagine every scene that happens, and the author manages to capture your imagination. A life lesson that this book takes away is that don't judge a book by its cover, because people are extraordinary, with or without differences. That was such a great review. Thank you so much. Catch, I'll bet that there are some of your crew who have seen the movie version of that book. I'm going to check out whether my local library has it and borrow it. Race you there. Thank you so much to all our amazing reviewers this month. You all did an incredible job. They sure did. It takes a bit of bravery to record your voice for more than 100,000 kids to listen to. You guys were awesome. Don't forget... If you want to join my crew of reviewers, just follow the links in your episode notes to apply. Hey, Catch, I'm off to the library. I'll meet you in the car. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Squeeze, squeeze.
Kids Book Club is proudly supported by Walker Books.